Hey guys, what's going on? It's Obes, back again with another video. And this week we're taking a look at the Team of the Year Honourable Mention, Jack Grealish, that's just come out. I'm going to show you the best squad to do it, and also some custom tactics that should help you complete the objectives faster than uh, if you just played normally. Alright, let's jump right into it. So as I said, we've got Jack Grealish, 87 cams, he's had a position change from his normal card as well. And I've got to say, for an objectives card, that looks like a really nice card. Especially if you put a hunter on it, get that 95 pace, 93 shooting, 91 dribbling, 89 passing, and I mean, we don't really care about defensive and physical on a card like that. So yeah, for a free card, I think that's pretty decent. I'll definitely be putting the effort into going and getting him. Uh, definitely some nice links with some recent English cards that have come out as well. So if we jump into the objectives for this card, we have Precise Passer. Assist with a through ball in two separate matches using English players in the live but friendly world beaters. So world beaters is the same friendly from the previous card of last week, Suarez. We then move on to midfield magic. Score a finesse goal in three separate matches using midfielders with four star skills. All right, that's one to bear in mind when building this squad. Then we have letting fly which is to score three outside of the box goals in the foot friendly world beaters, should be simple enough. Especially you can think about pairing up those finesse shots with those outside the box, getting those curlers from the corner of the box and getting two birds with one stone. We also have successful seven, which is just to win seven matches, simple enough. And then steady scoring, which is the scoring 12 separate matches. It's annoying that they're doing these scoring when the wins are less, but there we go. At least it means that if you don't win, the game isn't completely wasted. All right, let's jump right into the squad and see what we can do. So the two key things to remember when building this team for this objective is the assist with English players, as well as the finesse goals with midfielders with four-star skills. So the first thing we're going to do is build up our front line and midfield with as many English players as possible to, you know, obviously get those assists in. So luckily I packed Lineker in my mid or baby icon, and we've also got Jamie Vardy up there. So it doesn't matter that these two don't have the skill moves because obviously it's the midfielder that you need to finesse goals with anyway. Um, but they're English players at the top end of the pitch, both decent cards, so we'll be able to provide those assists. So you want to get your best English strikers up there. Someone like Vardy is someone that a lot of you would have packed if you smashed out those premium SBCs. Um, so moving into the midfield now, Rashford's going to be perfect for this, as is that new James Madison midfielder. Also got Milner, I'll stick him in to be able to get those assists as well. He doesn't have the skill moves, but Madison and Rashford do. So those are the two cards that we're going to need to be getting those finesse goals with. And especially as they're English, if we're getting assists with those as well, then it's killing two birds with one stone. For my right midfielders, I don't have an English player that'll suit there. I'm just going to go for my best right midfielder that I've got, and that's going to be Robin. He also has the, uh, the four-star skill, so obviously if you do score finesse goals with him, that'll still count. And for the rest of the team... As it's on max chemistry, I'm just going to build out the team with my best defence and my best keeper. So we're going to go Alibram Boateng there and Alfie Davis at left back. And just as in the Suarez objective, we're going to give Kalor Navas a going goal. Uh, just because he doesn't get in my normal team as I have Neuer there normally. Uh, but yeah, the key point is obviously we want to be able to get the best players in position to be able to complete these objectives. So I've built some custom tactics to help get Rashford and Madison in the positions to score the finesse shots. So let's jump into that now. So, as you can see, I've set up a defensive tactic in my 4-3-2-1 formation. I've actually made a video on this previously, which I'll link above. Uh, it's the tactic I used to use a lot in foot champs. So we've got balanced defence and long ball offence. Quite high depth and width just to get the team up the pitch. You've got to remember this is friendly, so uh, it's not too bad about leaving yourself exposed at the back. And as I said, 4-3-2-1. Getting Madison and Rashford as the left forward and right forward are going to give them plenty of opportunity to get finesse shots off. And it'll put them in the best possible chance of scoring goals as well. Obviously then the midfield of Lineker and Milner and Robin. Two out of those three we can get assists with. So of those front six, five of them can give us the assists as well. And if you're struggling to get finesse goals, you can always swap Robin with Madison. And switch the sides as well if you want to try and force those finesse goals through. But I think this team and this tactic will give you the best possible chance of achieving the objectives in the quickest time possible. Alright guys, that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, please leave a like and a sub. Every little one is appreciated. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.